Hey everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am trying filming on my new iPhone uh, Max Plus that I did purchase. So I'm selling my iPhone 8 Plus. Anyone interested? No. Anyways, so let's get down to this video. Okay, I am going to be doing a quick tutorial because I have an appointment I need to run out for on the Natasha Denona Safari palette, which is like a camouflage green um says it is made in italy and i'm gonna read right here i have my other phone um i usually record on my camera i do switch off sometimes but uh i'm gonna see the quality on this let me know anyways this says about natasha denona safari palette explore a jungle of colors with a safari Natasha Denona's first all matte eyeshadow palette inspired by a safari adventure. This 15 pan palette brings out the best and Natasha's signature matte eyeshadow formula with rich hues ranging from earthy terracotta to deep sea blue and olive khaki green. It lists all the names of the shades. Why it's special. Experience Natasha Denona's cult favorite eyeshadow formula for cream to silk coverage saturated color payoff and unbelievable velvety texture unlike powdery difficult to blend matte eyeshadows each shade melts into the skin with a creamy fill and zero fallout the sophisticated spectrum of colors from rich jewel tones to dusty muted hues let you create modern looks that range from barely there to a full-on glamour so there are 15 pans times 2.5 grams so she went back to her larger pans which i know there was a big thing about it with the tropical palette that they were smaller they're paraben free talk free quality free and it is a limited edition palette i did purchase mine from beautylish there is a three month payment plan which makes it that much easier for me so here we go we are opening up the package and here we go it is a hard case which i absolutely love it is um like her tropical palette um her lila palette and then another one i have is like a soft vinyl this is the hard plastic and then on the back you have the little holes so you can take out the eyeshadows and I love the coloring of the pink she mixed in. It is perfect. You have a very large mirror. It's a full-size mirror. And then here are the shades. Stunning. Absolutely stunning colors in this. Okay, so this screen is so huge. My chair is so low. I uh, built up some towels, so I'm a little bit higher. Here are the swatches. Um, so there's one, two, three, four, five in each row. There's 15, so one, two, three, four, five is the first row. One, two, three, four, five is second. And then this is all the bottom row right here. This is not a first impression. I have used this palette quite a bit, actually. I have been, um, testing it, filming, or not filming, but testing it. So when I do film it it would not be a first impression and not only that but it is natasha denona so i was like super excited to try it out so i'm going to do one eye on camera one eye off and i will talk as i go and then give you my true opinion i'm going in with malia which is um top first color What I have noticed on this palette is the best thing you can do is set your lid. Um, if you do not set your lid, you tend to get the patchiness that people are talking now about. Now I'm going to go in with Lotus, which is a like a rose color, rosy pink. I am using my Morphe Jaclyn Hill brushes. I'm going to build this up in the crease and bring it up 
almost the brow bone, but not all the way. This is a stunning, stunning color. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous pink. It does take some building up. You're hearing my bracelets. I know. It's annoying. But it's the way it is. I don't ever take them off. And there is Lotus. Now I'm going in with Desert Date, which is an orange color, right in the middle of the palette. And I'm going to pop that in the crease. Again, they take a little building up. There is some cake back in the pan for sure, but I, that really doesn't bother me if the colors have payoff. It just is not a big deal for me usually, unless it's like an abnormal amount of fallout, and this is not an abnormal amount. It's just little bit of fallout. I love this. Okay, one. now I'm gonna go in with Tribe, which is a very deep orange, like a terracotta orange. I'm gonna put this just on the corner of my eye. This is a beautiful orange. I kind of want to bring it out a little bit um, to give it kind of just like a pointy edge here, which I'm going to need a smaller brush for that. So that was my Morphe Jacqueline Hill. I'm going to use my um, Wayne Gauze to try and bring it out a little bit pointier here. Doesn't matter if it goes under too much because I'm going to use a uh, makeup remover for that. I'm going to go on the brow bone with Aya, which is the lightest color in the palette. Just tap that on the brow bone. Do my other one real quick. Not bad. I'm going to go on my lid with the shade Amhara. If I'm saying it wrong, I apologize. Um, it is like a lighter kind of terracotta orange. just want to pop this on the lid. I don't want to lose the yellow in the crease. If I do, I will just blend it back in. It's like a peachy orange. All right, guys, so I actually had to take a break on the video, go get my echo cardiogram done, and, and run an errand for prescription, and I am back. So I have not been able to finish my makeup. So, we are going to finish it together. I felt like this video was very rush, and I just, I want to slow down. I swear, under my nose, it is always like this. I always get irritated around my nose. It's really annoying. Okay. All right, so now on the Natasha Denona palette, um, I would like to go, I'm trying to use as many colors as possible 
Um, okay, I added a little uh, bit of the powder because I'm trying to um, uh, make a wing and brighten it. Okay, so I want to go in with, I am like undecided, but I'm just going to go for it because I'm trying to use a good amount of these shades for you guys to see like how they perform. Um, and I just had a brush in my hand that I was going to use. Here we go. I'm going to use the Morphe Hill Jacqueline. Yeah, okay. You know, uh, the Jacqueline Morphe. Oh my God, I can't think straight. I'm going to go in with, um, and I hope I say this name right, Fate Morgana. I, I'm sorry if I get it wrong, but I'm trying. It is the darkest blue, and I'm going to go right under my eye. I did manage to get concealer on and set it under my eye before I left. So we're just going to pop that on under there. Very bold. Okay, now I'm going to go in with Rhino, which is a uh, camouflage kind of green color, but not the lightest one in here. It's close, so we're going to take that to me up with the really deep blue. I'm using the Alomar brush from Boxy. Lux. And just kind of meet those two together. Now I'm going to go in the inner corner and this has no shimmer, no any kind of um, glittery shades or metallics. So I'm just going to stick with the mattes and go in with Aya, which is the lightest shade in the whole palette. Just pop that on right on the inner corner. I'm going to show you guys the kickback that I've had in the palette. I'm going to just blend. This is my Delium Blending Tapered Brush. The Delium tools are just phenomenal um, brushes. I love all of them. Okay, so without me dusting it off or anything, here's some kickback you can see, and it does tend to make it towards the other shade. All you gotta do is just, and it's gone. It is not a make or break deal, at least for me. I'm gonna do the rest of my face, because uh, I think I'm pretty much done with my eye look and then I'll be back with my complete thoughts and reviews on this palette. Okay, you guys. So here are my final thoughts and reviews. So she did set this where you could work it from one shade all the way down in rows if you'd like or horizontal um, or in threes. Um, I just work however my brush takes me. So the first time I used this palette, I have used it several times. I stuck with the blues and the greens mainly. Um, and I went in and I um, did not set my lid because when I use shimmer palettes, metallics, and um, glitters, you want it to pop. So you... Um, don't set your lid. Well, I don't set my lid all the time. So I learn with this palette here, because they are all mattes, they work better if you set your lid. So if you go in and you set your lid with mainly one of these, I mean, you can use any color you want, but I mainly use, um, one of these two right here or even just start in the crease with lotus or whatever you want um set your lid so that way it the matte grabs onto the other shade and it glides if you don't set your lid it grabs onto 
the primer or whatever you set your lid with and it goes on patchy. So unlike a shimmer shade or metallic or whatever where you want your lid wet still kind of damp and you want it to grab on and give it that shine on here, you don't want that. You want it to have kind of a dry base to just roll onto. So I learned with this palette here, you want to set your lid or you are going to end up most likely with patchiness and um, splotchiness, just, um, it just skips. Um, so the first time around when I use this, I left my lid damp, you know, I put my primer down and it was just, it was all over the map. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is going to be a bad palette. And then when I tried it the next time around, I'm like, well, let me try to set my lid. And I did that and I, it was, it's a totally different world. So do I recommend this? If you like mattes and you like these colors, I do recommend it. I think that she um, gave it her all with her packaging and her shadows. They are a bit dry. Um, they are a bit dry, but I did swatch these like a long time ago and I literally went and had an echo done and did some errands and came back and they are still on there just perfect. They transferred a little bit right here, but I mean, look at that. So set your lid and if you're having issues with this palette, try it with your lid set. If it doesn't work, I don't know what to say, but I say it's worth it. I love the colors in here. Some of them are so unique. Um, like rhino um stone this color is so beautiful tribe and this camel color tamarind excuse me i used that on my lid the other day gorgeous um so if i would have gave a first impressions and this is why i try to come back here uh with my monthly heck yeah so so hell no how would i said that it was patchy, didn't perform very well, but now, now that I have used it, fully played around with it, um, I absolutely love it. I really absolutely love it. I am impressed. Um, and this color here, Lotus, is stunning. Oh my gosh, it's like the perfect light pink ever. Um, so I am really enjoying this. On the first day I used it, I was on the brink of, I'm gonna return it to, I love this palette. Um, some of the shades are definitely dupable. Um, you've seen before some of the reddish browns and so on, but I love it. I think it's great and I do recommend it. Just make sure you set your lid. That is just my recommendation. That is how I feel it works and performs better. And that is all I have to say. I love the palette. Um, it is on the high-end side, a bit pricey, and that is why I go through Beautylish, and I really pick and choose what I'm gonna buy, a high-end um, makeup palette. And that is also why I made sure I got full usage out of it before I did a review. I hope you enjoyed this review. And um, I'm sorry, it was. I felt like it was all over the place, but I was me running back and forth probably. Um, if you did give me a thumbs up, it does help me. And leave any comments uh, in the section below. Are you gonna pick it up? Do you think it's worth it? Um, and if you have any comments about the palette, have you used it, do you have it? And then also, if you want a jumpstart on the Halloween, um, challenge go for it I love to see it I will be doing it um, most likely this week I have a lot of appointments starting up but I will try and get to it this week so I will see you guys soon you guys have a wonderful day